Hey guys, um, getting started on the teen stocking stuffer kits. Thought I'd make a quick video. Um, I'm doing my best to inventory everything because it really helps me figure out how many children we can help. Also, what, what specific donations we still need. But we're, we're getting so big that a lot of the items, there's just no way that I'm going to have time to actually get them all out and get pictures. Um, but I had to show you guys how cute these are. They're little keychains. They roar and light up. This guy. Oh, he's a little dolphin. So cute. So some of these, they might be a little better for the for the younger kids than the teens. Um, but anyway, lots of stuff. A little too much to get pictures of every single thing and get it inventoried. So I'm going to do some videos. And then the inventory pictures have always worked really well because it also um, gives people an idea of what we're donating and they go, oh, I saw those at the store or I can pick those up. Um, it works well when stores, businesses, companies are looking to contribute and they want to find out who is Allen County Angels, what are they doing. They can go to the photo albums, pull up an album and see that, you know, we're, we're really, we're growing each year. We're a driving force to help families that are struggling. And that's because for the majority of our life, we were a family that was struggling and there was always somebody there to help. And I'll just never forget that. Not to mention, literally is the truth better to give than receive. And that's not like preaching. That's just my experience. Um, but, but, you know, maybe it's just my passion. Anyway, super cute earrings. How cute are those? They're so this, it doesn't, the uh, video does not do them justice. It's like New Year's Eve, here I come. I bought myself a pair of those. Uh, hopefully the teens will like what we hooked them up with. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jewelry-wise, lots of earrings. These bracelets are so fun. Again, sometimes the camera just does not get how sparkly and cool they are. And, um... Lots of goodies. Lots of wonderful donations. These were donated last year. I'm sure there are going to be some happy campers with their little Santa emoticon earrings this year. Earrings and necklaces. Lots of cute stuff. This little bicycle is so cute. So, thank you guys so much for supporting us. And um, the stocking stuffer kits are left open until last minute. So, if you would like to donate, you want to hook the kids up with something and you want it to go in the stockings, you can do that up until the last minute. We do not seal the bags so everything can be as nice as possible and so we can help as many children as possible. And I can't remember if I told you. I'll try and tell you real quick because I am uh, trying to keep this video under 20 minutes. Um... When you get your confirmation number, you'll know that that assures you that all of your children will each receive a stocking stuffer kit, which will have four to six um, toys in it. They usually range from like a dollar to four dollars each, and um, maybe some other miscellaneous necklaces, earrings, whatever, stickers, kind of small stuff, um, a candy bag for their stocking, um, books, coloring book. A uh, hat, gloves, um, so easy for me to forget. I know we have enough ornaments, decorations, um, so, so you can be sure that even if you show up at the giveaway 15 minutes before it closes, as long as you have a confirmation number, you're not going to be walking away empty-handed. It's definitely going to be worth coming. Um, we're trying really hard to ensure that all the children are going to get a large toy, which is usually like a $10 toy. A medium toy that's it's between like five and eight dollars um, and then the family like one per family usually an extra large toy sometimes that's like 20 and above or it's just something the whole family can use a board game um, something of the sort so anyway working hard um, we've gone from 300 to 500 children and we're just really trusting God to do this that's practically doubling in a year's time when really our, our household has been hit a little hard financially and with some health issues, you know, those tend to go hand in hand. Um, but I just felt like God was saying that I don't dream big enough. I was asking him for an apple and he kept giving me the tree. So finally I was like, all right, God, I'll ask for the tree. Surely this is big enough. 
And that's because if it happens, I can't even remotely claim to take credit for that. Nor would my husband try. We would know it's all God. And we're not preachy. It's just our experience. Whatever works for you, that's awesome. Rock on. Um, I'm going to get out of here and get back to work. I'm sorry, it's still five minutes long. It's shorter than 13. Progress, not perfection. Thank you guys for your input um, when trying to figure out what should go where this year. You guys have been really helpful with that. And we truly care about you guys. Have a good day, and I will see you on Facebook.